Hey everybody, this is Bobo, and just a logical consideration for people to think about, which is that there's an old saying, the more we learn, the more we realize, the less we know. The more we realize we know nothing. Yes. It's very true. Like, we think that we understand this universe that we're in. We think that we have a mastery of physics and logic and reason and science. But compared to 100 years ago, like, if we think about what they had 100 years ago when they were thinking that they were on the top of innovation and reasoning and logic and philosophy, they had gone nowhere compared to now. They knew nothing compared to us today. But 100 years from now, what we think is the pinnacle of science and reason and our understanding and logic, wisdom, all of it, will be superseded by things that we right now can't comprehend. People need to be aware of the fact that what we think we know or what you think you're so certain of may be nothing. It may be ephemeral nonsense once one advance is made in science or reason or logic or philosophy that everyone needs to take pretty much everything that you think is a fundamental truth you believe in with a grain of salt and be not afraid to step back and say well this is my core belief but is it wrong or can it be amended in the light of new facts you should not be afraid to take your dearly held ideas and let them evolve it's the way in which, actually, I ensure that I'm always right. It's a roundabout way of doing it, but if I find out I am wrong about something, I change my opinion, and therefore I'm never wrong. It's my way of using that little psychological bent that we have as humans to always want to be right about shit, and using it to my advantage to make it so that I actually am able to almost kind of claim that. It's arrogant to say, but still. Well, you can't ever claim to always be right, but you can claim to always be learning. Right. That's the important distinction, and that's really, to boil it down is what I want to encourage with this video, is the idea of don't be afraid to learn, to examine your beliefs, realize that you could be wrong, or at least, if not wrong, you might have one or two ideas that are outdated, or maybe that could be brushed up a bit based on new evidence. Just don't be afraid to look at them critically. Don't be so caught up in this idea that you understand the universe and you don't need to learn anything more. Or that you don't need to listen to other people's reasoning, their logic, or arguments because you have it all figured out. Therein lies pure, simple arrogance. But, well, there are people, though, in the world that are, like, you know, experts on specific fields and whatnot, though. So those kinds of people can, I, I guess, it's kind of an appeal to authority, but not really, in that they kind of do earn the authority to say strong declarative statements about things within that specialized field of theirs, at least. Well, not really. No, I mean, sure, they have the ability to make strong declarative statements in their field and have more backing than maybe I would. I would listen to a quantum physicist with a degree over me when you're talking about quantum theory, but that does not mean that he is right about anything he is saying. It could. It gives him a better chance of being right, but we might find out 20 years from now that quantum theory as we thought of it, or as we believe we knew it, is bunk. It's nonsense, and it works on string cheese. We don't know. Everything he's learned then will be a debunked theory. He will go from an expert to a crackpot with one stroke. Knowledge is fluid, and even an expert can be a moron. Both of these things are true. What is, you know, the knowledge of an expert today becomes the laughed-at historical footnote of tomorrow. Okay, but now this goes into something that I've been thinking about, which is, you know, when you're having a conversation with someone, the difference between making an argument and simply giving an opinion. But what this seems to me to do, because I've been thinking about that, is it almost seems as though more or less it boils everything down to being the same degree of opinion. I mean, is there there's still well, room no, for no, degrees no, in there, though. There's degrees, that's the right. thing. I'm not saying that everyone knows nothing. I'm saying that nobody knows everything. Okay, well, in that case, what it is is that the degrees to which we can know things, because we're considering a more full spectrum of the entirety of knowledge that could be accumulated, we've got such a small bit of it figured out that, yeah, there's a very small bit in there. And but. if you really want to take it to its simplest level, what I'm trying to say is there's always room for growth in ideology. That right. there is no pinnacle. There is no greatest level of knowledge, and no one can claim to have reached the pinnacle of any kind of knowledge. Wherever you are, there's a giant mountain left to climb. We think we have mechanics understood. You know, something simple as a combustion engine. I am pretty sure within 100 years, someone's going to have a 
brand new invention that revolutionizes that entire field in some manner. Something that when people look at it later, why didn't they do that before? But when we see it, it just didn't make sense to us. People should have a healthy degree of humility over how much they actually know. Yes, humility is a big important thing. Don't sit there and because you know more than other people, perhaps, don't sit there and think that you know everything or that your word is somehow the word of God versus other people. It, yeah, really. You that, will be disproven at some point in some way about something. That really is a high degree of arrogance right there, yeah. And that's really all this is. It's a simple caution to people not to fall into that trap. Don't think that you know more than you do. In fact, assume you know less and be more willing to learn. If you, it turns out you were right, Congratulations, you now have proof. Even more proof, perhaps. But it's better to sit there and say, I believe this is right, but, and, you know, maybe the evidence suggests this is right, and it seems that this could be right. Don't sit there and just say, I know this is right, and everyone else is wrong. Maintain perspective. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's another facet of this argument, is perspective, and the fact that it's easy to lose perspective once you got that four-year PhD, or perhaps you happen to be extra talented at absorbing knowledge, and you can sit there and quote things at people that befuddle them because they have no idea what you're talking about. That's one thing that I can do. I can, like, memorize shit in other languages. Uh -huh. I memorize shit from movies and whatnot, and people seem to think that this is an exceptional skill. But memorization is like the lowest form of learning. That's the only way in which I consider myself personally to be intelligent is through the fact that I can readily identify sound and good ideas, maybe, or something to that degree. But that's about it, the fact that I can remember shit and then spit it back out verbatim and whatnot. But really, I guess all I'm saying is don't mistake that ability for true intellect. Exactly. That's one of the reasons why I tell people that I don't personally consider myself to be exceptionally intelligent to any degree. Just take what you know with a grain of salt. Don't assume you have the word of authority on everything. And be willing to learn and accept that, hey, maybe you're wrong about something. Learn from it and then become right. Evolve.